Hey everybody, this is John with the Dusty Go. We're in the backyard. We've done some chores. We're gonna show you just a little bit of what we do on our chores. Um, we talked about a little bit about what direction we wanna go with our rabbits. Um, we're gonna talk about our I Am Samani's a little bit. And, um, can you fly somewhere else just for five minutes? This used to be a quiet place. I cannot wait to get out of town and get on our property. Doesn't matter anywhere you go. Woo, woo. Wow, wow, wow. And we need two things from everybody if y'all are willing to participate. Number one, we need some names for our I am Samanis. We have two roosters and two hens. Something else we need help with is we've been basically doing our video just on our phones. We have Androids, sorry iPhone users. But um, we need some suggestions on what you guys use to film your videos. Whether it's a camera, whether it's a GoPro, whether it's some kind of other camera, whether you have a microphone or not, if you do, what type of microphone, um, what type of tripod you use, or any additional equipment. Look how rough he looks with all his feathers coming in. This is going to be a roo right here. Yeah. We got ourselves a, a roo. Look at the poofy top. I know. That is uh, like an Elvis dude. <laughs> Alright, y'all go play for a while. Good morning, girls. Oops. Come on, Buck. Come on, Buck. Yep. Millie, a little bit will headbutt you. <laughs> We're trying to teach Buck to get used to the goats. What? Buck, just don't chase him. Buck is not a livestock guardian dog. He is... A mutt. A mutt. Uh, he's corgi. And what else do you think he is, Rachel? What did the vet say? Maybe German Shepherd and... Yeah, I think it's corgi and German Shepherd. Because he's got some teeth on him. That's Buck, the not so livestock guardian dog. Eat, Millie. Come on, Buck. Buck, come on. Fall into them. <laughs> mm. Probably because we're here. What's up? Good morning. No eggs? We love this Premier One fence, but I don't know how it keeps tearing like this. It looks like that's been chewed by something. But we've had to make some repairs on it. Um, but we also have to check on our charger. Because it's not uh, producing any power anymore. And after a year, I don't think the battery should be bad. And I think it's a problem with the where it's located in the sun.
Those are our babies we have left. Well, we got four of them. Uh, four and then down there five. Oh, is this the female? So every day I give them about a half a cup of pellets and they get some uh, Bermuda coastal hay. And then about every three days we get them some exercise in the bunny playpen. So they have some natural grass from there too. The chickens over there cheaping. It's uh That is 15 gallon jug, a food grade jug. It used to have Kool-Aid syrup in it. We need some new feeders, don't we? Yep, I don't like these anymore. I want those big um, silver ones that we got in the other two. Yeah, the galvanized ones. Yeah, I don't like these. These just they, they're easily knocked over. Well, we got these from. Uh, well, the first mistake we made is I didn't let you cut like you wanted to and put them on the outside, which is how they're supposed that, to go. Say that again. <laughs> say that again. What did you say? I didn't hear you, babe. Say it one more time. I said the first mistake we made was I didn't let John cut the cages and put the feeders on the outside like you're supposed to. Because I didn't want to damage the cages because we had spent a good amount of money on them, even though that's what they were for. No, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say again, you made a mistake? Uh -huh. Did you actually say that? I did. Wow, that's amazing. <clears throat> did you give Deuce some money? He doesn't need it, he don't like it. He hardly ever eats it. He wastes his. Well, everybody else I don't know does. why he don't like it. He didn't ha He never has. Now he will eat the peanut hay some when we get it. Yeah. But he don't care for the the hay hay. But poor old Deuce, he's on his last leg. He's older than the rest of them. Because he was. He was old. A six seven months old when we got him. Deuce. Doesn't do a whole lot anymore. No, he'll still breed like crazy. He just kind of hangs out. And... We need to brush these cages. Yeah, and this needs to be cleaned out in here again. So what I do in the mornings is I give them pellets and I give them water, I give them hay, and always make sure all their waterers are working every day to make sure there's no clogged lines, nothing's happened to it, because as you know, animals have to have water. And it would not be good for them to go without water. So always make sure they're all working, even though they usually are. We've had to repair one, but, but it was just leaking. It wasn't not working. I just have to make sure because that's, I worry about that. So I go through and I just check each water. 
Make sure that it's working like it's supposed to. Make sure everybody looks good and there's nothing wrong with anybody, which I do that with all of my animals every morning. I look at everybody. And every night at 10 o'clock at night. Um, yeah, every night. But I make sure everybody's okay. Everybody's looking good. Nothing's wrong with anybody. Um, you know, because you never know. I mean, there's lots of times you can come out on the homestead and find an animal down for uh, unknown reasons, you, you know. So, I check on them in the morning. And I check on them at night before I go to bed. And I count my chickens. Thank God I don't have like 70 chickens. I'd be out here forever counting chicken. And so you just go to one pen, right? No, I go to all of them. <laughs> Even though some of them don't get out and free roam because of where we're located, I still check them. We have one silky that's the escaped artist. And it's one of the caramel color ones. It's the partridge. The partridge, is that what you call it? Yeah. And she escapes every day, and then she sits about right here, and just sits there waiting for us to put her back in. Where's the white one at? She's sitting on an egg. She's sitting on this side? Go over a video. They're both still sitting on one egg. Oh, they are. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, so tell us what's going on with their eggs. I don't know, they're not laying, so. But it is shorter days now. That plays a part in it. And it's getting cooler, so there's gonna be less and less eggs. And some of these girls, when um, it was a good egg laying season, they were still pretty young, so. They'll probably start laying more, but they're not a real prof prolific egg layers either. So how many eggs they lay a year? I'm not actually not sure. Michael wanted these, and so we got them. <laughs> well, it's the only ones I've seen around here anyway. Yeah, there's only a few people. The lady we got them from, mm -hmm. she does them. And whenever I just looked for people with Spitzhobbins, there wasn't a lot of people who had them, her name's Tanya. And um, she was at the event, wasn't she? She was. There's not a lot of people that have them. So I wanted some type of rare breed, like we have the I am Samanis and we have these and they're pretty chickens. Um, I'm still getting to know the Spitzhavens and learn about them, but they're cool looking chickens. And well, most of them are really sweet and docile, they're just, I don't spend a lot of time in here every single day. Like with Tanya, when she would go in there, they would jump up on her shoulders, mm -hmm. her arms, but she was out there with them for hours and hours, you know, at a time during the day, every day. Mm -hmm. And she hand raised them from baby. So they were real used to her. So what do you think we need to do with the rabbits? I mean, so, so far on our rabbits, we started with the American chinchillas. Then we got a Palomino. We crossed the chinchillas with the Palominos um, for heat resistance. And we've sold a ton of them. What do you think our direction now is? Uh, I think that coming in spring, I'm probably going to get all new breeding. Um, I want to try to breed Holland Lops, but I want some pedigreed ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to breed um, Rexes because the people really like them the mini rex um but i also want to try to find a pedigreed pair for those two and then um well ours are about, pedigreed they just don't have any papers right um i'm thinking about maybe we change over from american chinchillas to new zealand's to sell them as meat rabbits yeah 
just an idea. Well, we I need to... I tossed it up around just getting rid of them completely and trying a different type of animal, but I don't know yet. So what are your reasons for wanting to try a different animal? Well, we've tried rabbits. Well, we've been successful at rabbits. We didn't try them. Here, go on in there so the sun's not in your eyes. We've, we've um, been successful with our rabbits. Um, I don't know. I just want to try something different. Something maybe we can... Um, or at least if we keep the rabbits, I want to do a different breed of rabbits. Because we've had the American chinchillas for almost two years. In spring, it will be two years that we've been doing so American chinchillas. So in April, it would be two years, right? Yeah, like March or April. So, I'm just thinking of trying something different. But the problem is, I'm never going to get rid of Deuce. He's ours. He's now, even if we don't ever breed him again, we'll be keeping him. Right. I'm not ever getting rid of him. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the American chinchillas have been fun. They're easy keepers. They're hardy rabbits. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I know one thing that I'm tired of these tarps on here. I mean, it's a good, cheap, um, option, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with some of those plastic PVC panels, run boards down the middle. Yeah. And then run them down long ways because this looks like hell. Well, we could try the, are you talking about the pliable plastic thing? The like PVC, garden? it looks like uh, metal roofing, but it's PVC. Oh. Ooh, look at that long feather. Yep. We never handy. did get to name them, did we? Nope. So we still need names for our I am Samanis. I personally want to name the big root Onyx. Okay, well, but not everybody not... likes onyx. I got a bunch of different options. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we'll, on this video, maybe we'll get some, ask somebody to comment mm -hmm. their suggestions for names and we'll pick a, pick a name from that. So we have two hens and two roos and we need names for all of them. So I'd like to use something that's like maybe something in the same like a group or like tv characters or show characters or if we're going to use like onyx it would be like i don't know i want a, some type of name that all fits well if we're gonna have people um ask people for names it was just whatever but that's an idea like you know we could do like a tv show and name them you know like george and Jerry and Elaine and you know what I mean like yeah. after TV shows or movies right like Star Wars movies or some type of star or movie series we could name them after that's not a bad idea there's a lot of different things we could do with that because they're a group they're a crew yeah so we have to they have to have like name you know names that all fit together yeah 